Hello and welcome to the first ever on-air version of Lone Star Lineup. I'm Paxton Graff. Man, what a wild first week of action we just witnessed as Texas A&M loses their home opener to Notre Dame and starts off the Elko era on the wrong foot. Meanwhile, Sam Houston State upset Rice at home and claimed their first victory over the Owls in 31 years. What a way to start the season off, and the best part is it was just week one. Now we get to start it all over again and get ready for week two's slate of games as we start off big with this week's Game of the Week. As the fourth-ranked Texas Longhorns travel to Ann Arbor to take on the ninth-ranked Michigan Wolverines at the Big House, the Longhorns are coming off a dominant win over the Colorado State Rams when they earned their first season opening shutout win in 20 years. They did so behind the star-studded defense who held the Rams to only 74 passing yards and forced two interceptions. Meanwhile, the offense started off a little slow but finally got the gears turning in the second quarter and never let their foot off the gas as Quinn Ewers finished the day with three touchdowns and one interception and was swapped down in the late in the third quarter with a young legend himself, Arch Manning, who threw for one touchdown and rushed for the other. Meanwhile, the Wolverines are coming off a 30-10 victory over the Fresno State Bulldogs, where they held them to only nine total rushing yards and forced two interceptions. The main battle to keep an eye on will be the key battle between the Longhorns defensive line and the Wolverines Heisman continuing running back Donovan Edwards. And the Longhorns will look to end the Wolverines' 23-game home winning streak tomorrow at 11 a.m. as it will be broadcasted on Fox. Now this next matchup is one of my personal favorites of the season as my Texas State Bobcats will take on the UTSA Roadrunners in the I-35 rivalry. The Bobcats are coming into this game after a lackluster win over the Lamar Cardinals where they were favored by 32 and a half points but only won by seven with a final score of 34 to 27. This comes after a controversial call to pull starting quarterback Jordan McLeod in the first quarter after only leading by 15 at the time. Despite the switch, the Bobcats finished with 486 yards of total offense and four touchdowns on the night. Meanwhile, the Roadrunners are coming off a 28-16 victory over the Kennesaw, Kennesaw State Owls, but they finished the night with 416 total yards on offense and four touchdowns on the night. For the first time in what seems like 10 years, the Roadrunners won't have their secret weapon and former quarterback Frank Harris has been the Bobcats' kryptonite in the last few meetings. Nonetheless, the Bobcats will look to finally beat the Roadrunners tomorrow at 3 p.m. at UFCU Stadium. You can stream that game on ESPNU. And a big one coming out of the Big 12 Conference as the Baylor Bears will travel to Salt Lake City to take on the 12th-ranked Utah Utes. Baylor is coming off a dominant win over the Tarleton State Texans in a game where the Bears offense posted over 10 different receivers with a catch on the ninth. And on the defensive side, the Bears held the Texans to only 181 total yards offensively, as well as came away with an interception. This game will kick off tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. in Salt Lake City, and you can stream that game on Fox as well. And finally, here is the schedule for all the schools across the Lone Star State tomorrow. Some key matchups to look out for as the SFA Lumberjacks as they travel to Denton to take on the North Texas Mean Green in a Lone Star battle. Meanwhile, the Houston Cougars will travel up north to Norman to take on the Oklahoma Sooners, and the Cougars enter this matchup with an all-time record of one win to three losses against the Sooners. Well, that's going to do it for week two slate. As always, I want to thank y'all for tuning in, and I hope that you'll join me again next week. Until then, I'm Paxton Graff with this week's Lone Star Lineup.